<laughs> Less than a month ago, the New Mexico State men's basketball team beat Grand, Grand Canyon University in front of 12,307 people at the Pan American Center. Fast forward to today, it was time for round two, just this time in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. To GCU Arena we go. New Mexico State entering the game as two-point underdogs. Surprising, right? Johnny McCants hits the three-pointer. That'd be one of eight three-pointers the Aggies hit in the first quarter. But the Lobes were here to play. Holland Woods layup and one 6-5 in MSU. The Lobes, that would be the closest they'd get because after that layup, the Aggies would go on a 17-4 run capped off by that Teddy Allen jumper. Aggies going to halftime with a 42-28 lead. Second half, Teddy Allen, he's got eyes behind his head. You are a lot for the dunk. And speaking of dunks, Duncan Donnie, there's a reason they call him that. Look at the poster, Sports Center Top 10 coming your way. And then Teddy Allen just doing what he does best. Step back, three pointer, drains it. Nothing left more to say. 30 points for the hometown kid. New Mexico State coming out on top, 82 66 in enemy territory. Team. Territory GCU Arena was the place to be, and that is where we find our very own Colin Deaver with more on tonight's NMSU victory. Hey Sam, well this was an absolute evisceration by New Mexico State, really from about the five minute point of the first half. New Mexico State ran away, they took a double digit lead early, never really gave it up in this contest. Every single time that Grand Canyon made a run, it was a Teddy Allen three pointer, it was Jabari Rice, it was Donnie Tillman coming off the bench playing for the first time since early February against Seattle University with huge uh, 10 points for Mr. Tillman in his return to the lineup. So any time that the Lopes try to get back in this game. New Mexico State would answer, of course, winning it big tonight. And this is their second win of the season over Grand Canyon to sweep the season series. Felt fantastic. You can uh, no doubt expect that for New Mexico State. We've talked a lot about how this team, despite their record, 22 and four now, 12 and two in the WAC. They haven't exactly uh, played their best basketball, but Chris Jans and company, they feel like they are finally starting to peak at the right time after this evening's game. They feel like this was their best showing of the season thus far. We've been waiting for this for a while. You know, I've talked about our ceiling and not there yet and not playing at the level that I think we can. And uh, I thought we were closer to that tonight. I felt like they were playing for each other. I felt like that they were bought in. I mean, it just shows the potential of this team, man. Like, if this team keeps playing like this and uh, is able to withstand blows and just plays tough, the sky's the limit. We played 40 minutes of complete basketball. We played defense. We That's really all that matters. Really what Coach Jans cares about is us defending and rebounding for 40 minutes, and we did that. Hello, uh, you see up there, uh, excuse me, this New Mexico State team hit 13 three-pointers in this game. Grand Canyon came in with the number two three-point percentage defense in the country, obviously got eviscerated. And you can probably see on your screen right now the banners that Grand Canyon has hanging up in the rafters. 2021 WAC champions Jabari Rice said post-game, New Mexico State is coming for those banners. After last year, they got swept by the Lopes here at Grand Canyon University. But those are the only two times that Chris Jans' squad has lost in in GCU Arena, just like they usually do when they come to Phoenix, they put the lopes to sleep. And I'm going to do the same. Sam, back to you.